Hello everybody and welcome back. Thanks for tuning into my channel here. My name is Dominic and I am the host of the Android Factory. If you're just jumping in, we've gone ahead and created this entire application inside of uh, this series so far. There's a lot of really good content here, a lot of really good uh, you know, representation of the MVI architecture, flow, networking, all that good stuff. So I'm not going to cover you know, everything we did in this episode, but um, you know, to go ahead and check out the rest of the playlist if you are interested in it. But today, we're going to go ahead and talk about opening up a PR from Android Studio. Here we have the GitHub repo for this application, right? And traditionally, when you'd create a PR or a pull request, you'd go ahead and you know, come to this tab in your repository. You'd say new pull request. You'd go ahead and select a branch that you've been working on, and you'd go ahead and open that pull request from basically the GitHub UI. And that's totally fine that that works really well. But in later versions of Android Studio, you can actually do this all within the IDE. And it actually just speeds things up because you just need to stay inside of the IDE. You don't necessarily need to, you know, context switch to, uh, you know, your web browser and get out to uh, GitHub. We can see here on the side, there is a tab called pull requests. By the way, I am running Android Studio Electric Eel uh, and today is February 4th, 2023. So this is all running off of, uh, you know, information at that time. But basically inside of this pull request here, we can go ahead and click this plus sign to create an actual pull request from the IDE. So we're going to need to make some changes here uh, in order to you know, make a meaningful pull request. So as we get started, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe if you are brand new, and we will just uh, continue on here. So I'm just going to name this branch um, compose to come. Uh, okay, so we branched off of our main branch, we created a new branch, now all of our feature work basically in this branch we can open a PR for. Now, inside of this application, we've done everything in the, uh, let's see here, we've done everything in the old XML style layout of things. Uh, eventually, we're going to go ahead and uplift this to be Compose, and I'm specifically looking at this Explore fragment because I think there's a lot of really interesting interactions that we have here, uh, and I'd love to go ahead and just like redo this in Compose. So we're going to go ahead and add another tab down at the bottom. We're not going to implement everything in Compose right now, but instead we're just going to go ahead and like, you know, set up the plumbing here for what we need to do. All right, everybody, welcome back. As you can see here, our app is up and running. We have another tab all the way at the bottom. If we open it up, we do see the Hello World Explore Compose here. We can see our fragment has the Compose view. We're setting content. We are using a Composable. So I went through and updated everything we needed to in the bottom nav, the nav graph, all of our dependencies that needed to be updated for Compose, uh, some additional build features and such, and then you know some additional updates that I needed uh, you know, to kind of fight with the IDE to get it working. But point is we're at, you know, a reasonable stopping point from the perspective of, you know, a pull request, right? So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hit control K uh, as a shortcut to bring up the commit window, right? Uh, but in here we have, you know, laid the foundation for compose. So we're going to go ahead and commit and push this branch here. And we get this other additional dialog. We could see here that we're pushing to origin compose to come a new uh, branch here. We're just going to go ahead and click push. And now that that is all complete, we can go ahead and flip over to our GitHub uh, repo here on Google. And we can see maybe if we refresh here. Mm, no. All right pull request here, we can see now that we have the compose to come here, we have, you know, the ability to merge, great, there's one commit, all of our different changes, blah, 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 right, they're here. And so traditionally, you know, you would just kind of, I don't even know where the button is, uh, but you would open, all right, I don't know where the create pull request button is, but uh, maybe I got something misconfigured in our uh, repo here. So we're just going to figure that out on the fly, we're going to go over to our pull request tab, we're going to click this uh, plus here and then we can go ahead and see you know the information so we have the e-commerce app compose to come branch going into main so this is exactly what we would like here we could set up our title so I'm just gonna say set uh, you know set up you know hello YouTube obviously it would be something a bit more uh, you know descriptive about you know what you've done and all that good stuff and then you simply just come over here if you had some reviewers you can go ahead and select you know, reviewers, if there were people inside of the repo, you can kind of search them from within here. You can assign it to specific people, you can assign labels to it, all that good stuff. And then you can even create a draft pull request right here. But we're going to go ahead and try to create a pull request. Lovely. 
Uh, and that worked exactly as we expected here. So let's go ahead and flip back over here. We're gonna go ahead and open the pull request tab and you see here we have the set up the foundation for compose with the hello YouTube. Oh, I'm not signed in. That's why I couldn't do it. <laughs> okay, obviously you need to be signed in in order to open a pull request, but all of our files are changed here. We can go ahead and just see everything that we did here. We updated from 32 to 33. We added in all our compose, all that good stuff. And now anyone who wants to, you know, look at this PR can do so as if, you know, you opened it from within the, uh, the GitHub UI here. It's really that simple. It's really just as easy as clicking this create pull request button up here, doing your stuff in this little window and then creating the pull request. So that's about it, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did smash a like button to help me out, subscribe if you're brand new and I'll catch you guys in the next one. You don't want to miss this compose work that we're doing. So I'll catch you there. See ya.